May the winds welcome you with softness. May the sun bless you with its warm hands. May you fly so high and so well that God joins you in laughter and sets you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. A Balloonist Prayer. Welcome back everyone, and boy are we excited for this one. Carrie, her sister, and I went on a very unique adventure this week, 6,000 feet above the ground in a hot air balloon. Stick around for a wild ride. This next adventure requires an early wake up call. Any guesses where we might be going today? Let's go. are going up in that sucker right behind me. This is crazy. We are in Phoenix, Arizona, and we booked a hot air balloon tour. First time, we're gonna go up to 6,000 feet up in the sky in a wicker basket. Check it out. We gotta find a spot. Yeah. Five per department, guys, let's go. Hold on, don't yeah, do it. Excuse me. We booked this tour with aerogelic ballooning and while we knew we were going to be sailing high in a hot air balloon, we were shocked to find out we would be 6,000 feet above the ground. We are officially one mile high into the sky. We never imagined the beauty we would see with sunrise greeting us as we reached peak elevation. And a word of caution, don't look down. After reaching the literal high point of our trip and enjoying what could possibly be the most breathtaking sunrise I have ever seen, our pilot took us on a scenic adventure into the hills below. And as the propane flame cuts off, you get to enjoy near absolute silence floating through the sky. For the next few minutes, we are treated to spotting coyotes and viewing saguaro cacti from a bird's eye view. But my favorite part was the shadow of the balloon cast upon the hills as the sun continued to warm us up.
thousand feet. Prepare for landing. Apparently the wind is making our landing a little difficult. We're supposed to be over there. Many of you are probably wondering, just how does a hot air balloon land? Well, that's a good question. We quickly found out that you are truly at the mercy of the wind. After our pilot searched for some time and made a few attempts that were unsuccessful, he had to take us back up into the sky a few times before skillfully landing us in the desert. And there you have it, everybody. That's how you land a hot air balloon in style. Cactus right behind you, right there. Yeah. Holy smokes. That was a little bit of a rough landing. All right, we landed off the hot air balloon. Unfortunately, the wind was kind of funky and you can't really steer, so we landed by a bunch of cactus. It was a crazy adventure. After you safely complete your landing, it is tradition to celebrate with a bottle of champagne. Our pilot shared the history of hot air balloons, including the first flight and why the champagne celebration. Foremost, to bring a small token from the royal court to show that you are indeed civilized men and not demons from hell. See, back in 1783, peasants never got to drink champagne. It's only a drink of royalty. So they'd hang it out of the basket yelling, we come in peace. Farmers and ranchers would in turn chase after them with cups or glasses. The winds have welcomed you with softness. The sun has blessed you with its warm rays. You've flown so high and so well that God joined you in your laughter and set you gently back again into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Salute. Cheers, everyone. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> they said we could have seconds, right? It's not quite strong enough. Well, you don't have this in your backyard. <laughs> I'll take the juice, it's fine. Cheers! Here's to ballooning. That's the strongest stuff. That's better. 